Hello guys, it's Rushing by Nature and today we have uh, another unboxing video. This time it's for a headset. It's a headset made by Razer. It's, the model is Tiamat 7.1. Uh, this is one of, the, one of the few headsets that has true 7.1 uh, surround sound because they have in each ear cup they have five drivers. So in total you have 10 drivers. Most of other headsets have uh, virtual uh, surround sound because they have one, uh, one driver per, head, uh, per uh, headset. So let's go around the, the box a little bit. We have a mix amp, which is a very useful thing to have. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Here you have an explanation of the O5, uh, O5 uh, drivers uh, in ear cup. Uh, here we have an explanation how you should connect all those stuff. The basic features of the of the headset are here. You have a uh, ear cup cover. You have the mix amp, and you have very nice uh, cushion. Um, so let's go it to the unboxing itself. It's uh, actually it's a very nice case, like always very huge one so it opens like this and you you have two parts let's first go to the one side that's not very interesting you have some manuals here of course you have the razor stickers some manuals that you probably will never read let's put that aside and here you have two magnetically uh, magnetically uh, covered cups so you can actually I will show you later you can uh, put those on uh, each ear cup let's put that aside and let's go to the to the headset itself like always Razer made a very good packaging so let's try not to break anything yep right here okay yeah Let's open that up. Some cables. Yeah, some zip ties. No, it's not a zip ties. It's just okay. This is a mix amp. So let's put the case aside. And let's show you. This is the actual headset. As you can see, you have a clear uh, window on each side this way you can see all the five drivers this is the base driver uh, very good cush cushioning I don't know how it's spelled and on top you have again very good cushioning it's a very actually I've tried it already to be honest it's uh, very nice sits on your, on your head uh, let's talk about cables let's zip those so you have a lot of cables this cable will come back later you have five cables four for the speakers and one for the microphone and you have a USB uh, USB power because you need the power for the mix amp uh, I forgot to show you the the microphone itself it comes like this opens and it tilts it's a very useful thing because not most of the time I'm using the microphone so you can keep it away so about the mix amp one very ah, okay let's go back to the cables itself one thing that I didn't like much is that the cables are not uh, they don't have any labels whatsoever as you can see it's a clear one the only differences between them is the the cores I don't know if you can see them the cores on each on the metal and to be honest uh, it's very hard to actually distinguish those and sometimes it's hit or miss but at the end it's you will figure it out so this is the mix amp and what you have here of course uh, it was a good idea to actually have it plug it in so you will see all the LEDs that are powered on. I will make another video with a review of this headset after I've tested it for a couple of weeks. So first of all, here you have one of the buttons is to choose 
e uh, either 7.1 sound or 2.0 or stereo or surround this one is to choose between headset and the output that I will show you later if you have uh, uh, speakers you can choose uh, you can use this winner uh, you can choose this mix amp to actually control the speakers and this was uh, this one is for for mute the, the microphone uh, the volume the volume uh, trigger is very very good actually because it's a big one and there is another function if you click it it will mute and here it will glow a uh, mute label this this knob is for actually turning the volume um, up and down for all the all different uh, channels so you have uh, a main volume then you have a front then you have center then you have side of course you have the mic volume and you have a subwoofer volume and the rear volume so let's go back to this cable this cable as you can see from one side is a very proprietary jack on the other side is just stereo uh, st stereo head uh, stereo head jacks and you plug that you plug this into that hole it looks like it's lo it looks like a lot of usb micro but it's not one it's proprietary so this way uh, you can actually power an external uh, um, speakers so you don't have to to buy splitters or something like that this is about the hardware in general one a recommendation that I will make is do not buy these uh, headphones if you do not have a good uh, sound card if you're going to use these headphones with uh, uh, with uh, integrated sound card in the motherboard uh, it won't sound any good to be honest uh, before the unboxing I've tried this on a regular motherboard with the integrated sound card and they didn't sound it good uh, of course if you're going to uh, if you're going to spend like 200 bucks or 200 euros for a headset you should have a, a good sound card and I recommend to buy uh, a good sound card also so have a nice day